Alcatel Lucent SA, French pronunciation, Alcatel Lucent, was a French global telecommunications equipment company, headquartered in Boulogne Billancourt, France. It was formed in 2006 by the merger of France based Alcatel and US based Lucent, the latter being the successor of AT&T's Western Electric. The company focused on fixed, mobile, and converged networking hardware, IP technologies, software, and services, with operations in more than 130 countries. It had been named industry group leader for technology hardware and equipment sector in the 2014 Dow Jones Sustainability Indices Review and listed in the 2014 Thomson Reuters Top 100 Global Innovators for the fourth consecutive year. Alcatel Lucent also owned Bell Laboratories, one of the largest research and development facilities in the communications industry, whose employees have been awarded eight Nobel Prizes and the company holds in excess of 29,000 patents. On 3 November 2016, Nokia completed the acquisition of the company and it was merged into their Nokia Networks division. Bell Labs was still maintained as an independent subsidiary of Nokia. The Alcatel Lucent brand has been replaced by Nokia, but it still survives under Alcatel Lucent Enterprise ALE, the enterprise division of Alcatel Lucent that was sold to China Waxen in 2014. Topic history Alcatel Lucent was formed when Alcatel originally short for the Société Alsacienne de Constructions Atomiques, de Telecommunications et d'Electronique, a small company in Malouz absorbed by CGE in 1966 merged with Lucent Technologies on December 1, 2006. However, the predecessors of the company have been a part of telecommunications industry since the late 19th century. The company has roots in two early telecommunications companies, La Compagnie Générale d'Electricité (CGE) and the Western Electric Manufacturing Company. Western Electric began in 1869 when Elisha Gray and Enos N. Barton started a manufacturing firm based in Cleveland, Ohio. By 1880, the company had relocated to Chicago, Illinois, and become the largest electrical manufacturing company in the United States. In 1881, the American Bell Telephone Company, founded by Alexander Graham Bell and forerunner of American Telephone and Telegraph AT&T, purchased a controlling interest in Western Electric and made it the exclusive developer and manufacturer of equipment for the Bell Telephone Companies. CGE was formed in 1898 by French engineer Pierre Azaria in the Alsace region of what was then Germany and was a conglomerate involved in industries such as electricity, transportation, electronics and telecommunications. CGE would become a leader in digital communications and would also be known for producing the TGV high-speed trains in France. Bell Telephone Laboratories was created in 1925 from the consolidation of the R&D organizations of Western Electric and AT&T. Bell Labs would make significant scientific advances including, the transistor, the laser, the solar cell battery, the digital signal processor chip, the Unix operating system and the cellular concept of mobile telephone service. Bell Labs researchers have won seven Nobel Prizes. Also in 1925, Western Electric sold its international Western Electric Company subsidiary to ITT Corporation. CGE purchased the telecommunications part of ITT in the mid 1980s. AT&T re-entered the European telecommunications market in 1984 following the Bell System divestiture. Philips promoted the venture in part because its PRX public switching technology was aging and it sought a partner to help fund the development costs of digital switching. The joint company used the existing manufacturing and development facilities in The Hague, Hilversum, Brussels and Malmesbury as well as its U.S. resources to adapt the 5 ESS system to the European market. The joint venture company AT&T and Philips Telecommunications BV doubled annual turnover between 1984 and 1987, winning major switching and transmission contracts, mainly in the effectively captive Netherlands market. In 1987, AT&T increased its holding to 60% and in 1990 it purchased the remainder of the Philips holding. 
In 1998, Alcatel Alstom shifted its focus to the telecommunications industry, spinning off its Alstom activities and changing the company's name to Alcatel. AT&T spun off Lucent Technologies in April 1996 with an initial public offering IPO. In April 2004, TCL Corporation and Alcatel announced the creation of a mobile phone manufacturing joint venture, Alcatel Mobile Phones. A year later Alcatel sold its share in the joint venture but licensed the Alcatel brand name to TCL, which continues to this day under Nokia. Topic merger Facing intense competition in the telecommunications industry, Alcatel and Lucent Technologies merged on November 30, 2006. On April 5, 2006, Alcatel announced that it would swap its shares of Alcatel Alenia Space and Telespazio for €673 million Euros and a 12.1% stake in Thales, a key player in the French defense industry. This increased Alcatel's stake in Thales to 20.8%. Alcatel Lucent acquired Nortel's UMTS radio access business at the end of 2006. During 2007, the company acquired Canadian Metro WDM networking supplier Tropic Networks, Inc., Enterprise Services Gateway Products Developer NetDevices, IPTV software company Tamblin, and the telecommunications consulting practice Thompson Advisory Group, Inc. Alcatel Lucent acquired Motive, Inc., a provider of service management software for broadband and mobile data services in 2008. They formerly had a joint venture with Dutch company Draca Holding NV for manufacturing optical fiber, but Draca bought out Alcatel Lucent's 49.9% stake for €209 million Euros in December 2007. Alcatel Lucent's chief executive officer was Michel Combs, and the non executive chairman of the board was Philippe Camus. Camus joined the company in the third quarter of 2008, alongside Ben Verwayen as CEO, after Alcatel Lucent's first CEO Patricia Russo and first chairman Serge Chirouk resigned. In May 2009, Alcatel Lucent's stake in Thales was acquired by Dassault Aviation. Alcatel Lucent announced the acquisition of Openplug on September 1, 2010. For 2010, the company had revenues of 16 billion euros and a reported net loss of 334 million euros. In October 2011, Alcatel Lucent sold its call center services business Genesis Unit to Permira, a private equity group, for 1.5 billion dollars, the same amount the company bought the business for in 2000. Alcatel Lucent needed funding for the Franco American business, which made annual losses from 2007 to 2011. For 2011, revenues were 15 billion euros, net loss of 1.1 billion euros. For 2012, revenues were 14.4 billion euros and net loss of 1.4 billion euros. After seven consecutive years of negative cash flows, in October 2013 the company announced plans to slash 10,000 employees, or 14% of the total current 72,000 workforce, as a part of a 1 billion euros cost reduction effort. On June 19, 2013, Michel Combs announced, the shift plan, a three-year plan including portfolio refocusing on IP networking, ultra-broadband access and cloud, 1 billion euro in cost savings selective asset sales intended to generate at least €1 billion Euro over the period of the plan and the restructuring of the group's debt. On October 1, 2014, it announced that it had closed the sale of its subsidiary Alcatel Lucent Enterprise to China Waxen Post and Telecommunication Economy Development Center. In 2014, the Italian labs for the management system for terrestrial networks 1350 ohms and two families of equipment for fiber optic telecommunications, OMSN optical multi-service node and TSS transport service switch, were transferred to a new dedicated company, SM Optics, a subsidiary of the SIAE Microelectronica Group. On April 15, 2015, Finnish telecommunications firm Nokia announced its intent to purchase Alcatel Lucent for 15.6 billion euros in an all-stock deal. The acquisition aimed to create a stronger competitor to the rival firms Ericsson and Huawei, whom Nokia and Alcatel Lucent had surpassed in terms of total combined revenue in 2014. 
The acquisition was expected to be completed in early 2016, and was subject to regulatory and shareholder approval. Regulatory approval was obtained in October 2015 and shareholder approval was announced on January 4, 2016. The Bell Labs division will be maintained, but the Alcatel Lucent brand will be replaced by Nokia. On January 14, 2016, Alcatel Lucent started operating as part of the Nokia Group. The sale to Nokia was finalized in November and the company was merged into Nokia Networks. Topic. Timeline Topic Alcatel 1898 French engineer Pierre Azaria sets up the company Générale d'Electricité CGE, 1919 Aaron Weil creates the Téléphone Privé private telephone 1925 CGE becomes part of company Générale des Cables de Lyon. Bell Telephone Laboratories is created. 1927 The company is growing, and takes the name of Téléphonie Industrielle et Commerciale 1928 Alstom is formed by Société Alsacienne de Constructions Mécaniques and Compagnie Française Thomson Houston. 1946 The CIT is created Compagnie Industrielle de Téléphone with CGE Compagnie Générale d'Electricité 1947 ALSATEL is created Société Alsacienne et Lorraine de Télécommunication et d'Electronique to enable sales expansion 1950 CITT Kellogg greater than ITT telecommunications Alcatel http colon slash slash www.encyclopedia.chicago history org slash pages slash two seven three six html 1954 Telic acquires COFRATEL Company Frances du Telephone 1960 Telic delivers the complex crossbar technology 1965 CGE acquires Telic, becoming a subsidiary of CIT. 1970 Alcatel is created by merging CIT and Ente, a department of the SACM Société Alsacienne de Constructions Mécaniques. 1970 Amboise Roux becomes CGE's chairman. He then becomes the honorary chairman until his death in 1999. 1977 – First PBX is created, controlled by an electronic CPU. 1980 – Minitel is launched 1982 – Jean-Pierre Brunet becomes CGE's chairman. 1984 – Georges Pebereau becomes CGE's chairman. Thomson Telecommunications is absorbed by CGE. Cables de Lyon buys Thomson Jumont Cables and Cablemetal. 1985 Alstom Atlantique becomes Alstom. Alcatel is formed when CIT Alcatel and Thomson Telecommunications merge. 1986 ITT Corporation sells its European telecommunications business to CGE under its agreement with Alcatel NV. Cables de Lyon becomes a subsidiary of Alcatel NV. Pierre Suard becomes CGE chairman. 1987 CGE is privatized. Alstom wins contract for TGV Atlantique for the Northern TGV network. 1989 CGE and General Electric Company form GEC Alstom. This allows Alstom to sell its products outside France. CGE Alstom becomes Sigelic. AT&T Technologies reorganizes with the following business units, network systems, global business communications, microelectronics and consumer products. 1991 CGE changes its name to Alcatel Alstom. Acquires Rockwell Technologies Transmission Equipment Division. Cables de Lyons is renamed Alcatel Cable and takes over AEG Cable. 1991 Alcatel acquires Teletra, an Italian telecommunication systems company. 1992 Alcatel Alstom acquires AEG Cable. 1993 Alcatel Alstom acquires STC Submarine Systems from now Nortel Networks. 1995 Serge Chirouk was appointed chairman and CEO of Alcatel Alstom. He restructured the company to focus on telecommunications equipment. 
1998 Alcatel Alstom split. Alstom GEC becomes Alstom through an IPO with Alcatel retaining 24%. Alcatel sells Sigelic to the newly formed Alstom. Alcatel acquires DSC Communications for $4.4 billion and Packet Engines 1999 Alcatel acquires Xilin, Assured Access and Internet Devices. Alcatel increases its stake in Thomson CSF to 25.3% and decreases its stake in Framatome to 8.6%. 2000 Alcatel sells the DSL modem business to Thomson Multimedia and acquires Newbridge, Genesis and Innovative Fibers. Alcatel spins off its cable unit into Nexons. Lucent spins off Avaya Inc. 2001 Alcatel sells its stake in Alstom. Alcatel buys back Alcatel Space Investment from Thales, and reduces its stake in Thales to 20.03%. Alcatel sells its 2.2% stake in Areva. Alcatel sells DSL modem business to Thomson Multimedia. Lucent spins off its microelectronics business into Aguirre Systems via an IPO. 2002 Alcatel acquires Astral Point Communications Inc., Talera Corporation, and control of Alcatel Shanghai Bell. Alcatel sells its microelectronic business to ST Microelectronics, its stake in Thomson, 10.3M shares of Thales, and 1.5M shares of Nexons. 2003 Alcatel acquires Imagic TV, and Timetra Inc. It sells a 50% stake in Atlinx, and its optical business to Avanex. 2004 Alcatel acquires Edial Inc. Alcatel and TCL form a joint venture, Alcatel Mobile Phones, with Alcatel holding a 45% stake. Alcatel and Draca Holdings form a joint venture, Draca Comtech BV with Alcatel holding a 49.9 stake. Alcatel finalizes its acquisition of Spatial Wireless but sells 7.1M shares of Avanex. 2005 Alcatel sells its 45% stake of the Alcatel Mobile Phones venture back to TCL. 2006 Alcatel and Lucent Technologies announce merger to become Alcatel Lucent 2014 China Hoaxing Post and Telecommunication Economy Development Center acquires Alcatel Lucent Enterprise. Topic AT&T, Lucent Technologies 1869 Elisha Gray and Enos N. Barden formed Western Electric Company. 1927 Bell Labs makes the first American long-distance television transmission between New York and Washington, D.C. 1937 Dr. Clinton Davison becomes the first of 11 Nobel Prize winners from Bell Labs for his experimental confirmation of the wave nature of electrons. 1946 Western Electric produces over 4 million telephones. 1947 Bell Labs invents the transistor. Bell Labs' Douglas H. Ring and W. Ray Young wrote a memo entitled Mobile Telephony, Wide Area Coverage, Case 20564, using hexagonal cells for radio frequency. 1948 Claude Shannon, of Bell Labs, publishes a paper on information theory. 1954 Bell Labs invents the solar cell battery. 1956 AT&T is involved in the efforts of TAT-1, the first submarine transatlantic telephone cable, handling up to 36 channels. Electric repeaters, created by Bell Labs, were used. To settle an antitrust lawsuit, Western Electric formerly AT sells off non-networking equipment business. 1957 Laser is invented at Bell Labs. 1962 Bell Labs builds and launches Telstar 1, the first orbiting active communications satellite. 1969 Unix operating system is invented by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie. 1978 Bell Labs conducts the first trial of a commercial cell phone service in Chicago. 1980 Bell Labs announces digital signal processor. 1983 AT&T installs the first high-capacity, long-haul lightwave transmission system between NYC and Washington, D.C. 1996 Lucent Technologies launches IPO, the largest at that time. 
1998 Lucent purchases Jung Kim's Yuri Systems for $1.1 billion. 2000 Richard McGinn, chairman and CEO, was replaced by former CEO Henry Schacht. 2002 Patricia Russo becomes Lucent's CEO. 2003 Patricia Russo becomes Lucent's chairman. 2004 Lucent reports its first profitable year and revenue increase since 2000. 2005 Jung Kim becomes Bell Labs' 11th president. Topic: Alcatel Lucent. 2006 Alcatel sells its satellite, railway signaling, and critical security domain to Thales. On December 3, Alcatel and Lucent merge. Alcatel Lucent is formed. Alcatel Lucent acquires Nortel's UMTS radio access business. 2007 Alcatel Lucent acquires Tropic Networks, NetDevices, Thompson Advisory Group, and Tamblin. 2008 Alcatel Lucent acquires Motive Inc. Ben Verwayan becomes Alcatel Lucent's second CEO. 2009 Alcatel Lucent sells remaining share of Thales and outsource its IT to HP. 2011 Vim Sweldens leads a wireless group to develop Lightradio, a technology to reduce the size of cell towers to tiny cubes. 2012 Alcatel Lucent sells Genesis Labs to Permira. 2014 October 1, Alcatel Lucent announces the spin off of the enterprise division to China Waxin, forming the standalone organization of Alcatel Lucent Enterprise. 2015 Nokia Corporation announced its intentions to acquire Alcatel Lucent for $16.6 .6 billion. 2016 Nokia gained control of Alcatel Lucent. As of March 16, Nokia held a 91.8% stake in Alcatel Lucent's total shares, and plans to complete the purchase of 100% by 26 April. The Alcatel Lucent brand is abolished. Topic organization The company's global headquarters now a Nokia office was in boulogne billancourt France. It had previous head offices in the 7th arrondissement and 8th arrondissement of Paris, France. Its previous head office, in the 8th arrondissement, was built between 1912 and 1929 and was renovated in 1998. During the renovation, the building was decorated with a theme of the cosmos and time. There were regional groups for the Americas, Asia Pacific and China, and Europe, Middle East and Africa. Middle East and Africa headquarters were at Smart Village, Giza, Egypt. Alcatel was present in Italy with various research centers, Vimercate in Lombardy, Rethi, Battipaglia, Trieste, Geneva, Bari, Naples, Rome and Sesto Fiorentino. By 2014, their presence was only in Vimercate, Trieste and Rome. Topic: <laughs> Board of Directors. Philippe Camus, Chairman. Michel Combs, CEO. Stuart Eisenstadt. Louis Hughes. Carla Sicco. Jean Monti. Olivier Pew. Jean Cyril Spinetta. Kim Crawford Goodman. Veronique Morali. Francesco Caio. Topic leadership team Michel Combs, CEO Basil Alwyn, IP Routing and IP Transport Boscar Gorti, IP Platforms David Geary, Wireless Federico Guillen, Fixed Networks Philippe Guillemot, Operations Philippe Carrier, Strategy and Innovation Jean Raby, Chief Financial Officer Nicole Guillenet, Human Resources Tim Krause, Chief Marketing Officer Topic. Operating segments Core networking segment includes three business divisions, IP routing, IP transport and IP platforms. Access segment includes four business divisions, wireless, fixed access, licensing and managed services. 
Topic research and development Bell Labs was Alcatel Lucent's research and development organization. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell was awarded the first patent for the telephone, and subsequently started AT&T. Bell Labs is named in his honor. In 1937, Clinton Davison shared the Nobel Prize in Physics for demonstrating the wave nature of matter. His fundamental work is part of the foundation for much of today's solid-state electronics. In 1947, John Bardeen, Walter Bretain, William Shockley of Bell Labs invented the transistor. In 1956, they received a Nobel Prize for their invention. The transistor led to an electronics revolution during the post-war boom. The transition from vacuum tubes to transistors enabled all technologies to be built on a smaller scale and use less electricity. Items that before required large dedicated spaces could now fit into a home or even on a kitchen counter. In 1954, Gerald Pearson, Daryl Chapin, and Calvin Fuller invented the solar cell. Telstar, the first active communications satellite also developed by Bell Labs and launched in 1962, used these solar cell batteries as an external renewable source of power once launched. It was the first to carry live television over water, between England and the U.S. In the late 1950s, Charles Townes and Arthur Schallau of Bell Labs invented the laser, which has numerous applications, including measuring, cutting in the manufacturing industry and research, surgery in the medical industry. Bell Labs was awarded the laser patent in 1960. In 1964, Arno Allen Penzias and Robert Woodrow Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation. They were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978. In 1969, Dennis Ritchie and a team of Bell Labs employees invented the Unix operating system and the C programming language. In 2006, Willard S. Boyle and George E. Smith were awarded the National Academy of Engineering Prize, for work on charge-couple devices which transform patterns of light into useful digital information. In 2009, they received a Nobel Prize for their invention. The device is widely used in digital cameras, video cameras and modern astronomy. In 2013, there was a net R&D investment of 2.3 billion euros approximately, 16% of sales. There are more than 32,000 active patents, more than 3,000 obtained in 2013, and 14,900 pending patent applications. Topic: <laughs> Awards and distinctions. July 2013 in a test conducted on the Villarceau campus of Alcatel Lucent in Nose, near Paris, the Bell Labs researchers have successfully done data transmission from a speed of 31 terabits per second T BPS at a distance of 7,200 kilometers, a capacity more than three times higher than the most advanced commercial submarine cables that exist today. The investigators were able to obtain greater capacity ever obtained in underwater data transmission with a single fiber. This experiment was based on the pioneering work of Bell Labs in data channels in a single carrier of 200 gigabits per second, gigabit per second. As speeds and distances to such noise and signal distortion make recovery of the data a real challenge, the researchers used innovative detection techniques and applied a new set of technologies modulation, transmission and processing together with an advanced error correction coding. March 2012 Alcatel Lucent was selected by MITS Technology Review to its 2012 TR50 list of the world's most innovative companies. The magazine recognized Alcatel Lucent Light Radio as a key innovation. February to March 2012 Alcatel Lucent wins the Mobile World Congress Best Infrastructure Technology Award for the Light Radio Network. Topic. Lawsuits Topic. Violations of the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act 
In December 2010, Alcatel Lucent agreed to pay a total settlement of $137 million for bribing officials in Costa Rica, Honduras, Malaysia, and Taiwan in violation of the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. FCPA. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC alleged that Alcatel retained consultants to funnel bribes of over $8 million to government officials in order to obtain and retain lucrative telecommunications contracts. Alcatel admitted that it made profits of approximately $48 million as a result of the bribes and was ordered to pay $45 million to settle charges with the SEC and a further $92 million to settle the criminal charges brought by the U.S. Department of Justice DOJ. Topic Alcatel Lucent v. Microsoft Lucent Technologies filed suit against Gateway and Dell, claiming they had violated patents on MP3, MPEG and other technologies developed by Bell Labs, a division of predecessor company American Telephone and Telegraph. Microsoft voluntarily joined the lawsuit in April 2003, and Alcatel was added after it acquired Lucent. The first part of the case involved two audio coding patents that Alcatel Lucent claimed were infringed by Microsoft's Windows Media Player application. Alcatel Lucent won the trial and $1.52 billion in damages, but the judge granted Microsoft's motion for judgment and new trial. Alcatel Lucent appealed. In the second part of the case, the judge ruled that Microsoft had not violated Alcatel Lucent's patents relating to speech recognition and the case was therefore dismissed before going to trial. Alcatel Lucent intended to appeal. The third part of the case, involving several user interface related patents, began on 21 May 2013. Additional patent infringement cases, some filed by Microsoft and some filed by Alcatel Lucent, are pending in the United States. Equals 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 Alcatel Lucent v. Newegg and Overstock equals equals equals. In May 2013, Newegg and Overstock won a victory in United States Circuit Court in which an Alcatel Lucent shopping cart patent was invalidated.